Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vime and Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Pleglicious Sea Bell. One of the decks that's not on the chopping block, of course. So, uh, seeing some of your comments, a lot of support for the u Bucks Seeds. I did not know. That, I knew there were some supporters, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. You know, of course, you guys know the deck is not that powerful in comparison to the rest of u Bell deck. Very combo-centric, takes a little while to set up, uh, can easily be crushed by back row. But, uh, you know, I do definitely appreciate all your guys' support for uh, that deck. Um, you know, I, w I was shocked. I was totally shocked. So, you know, at this rate, you know, if you build Zephyrs, you know, you might be uh, coming to an end. You know? And I you know you guys probably have your reasons for why you chose to, to do, uh, chose what deck you wanted to choose, of course. Uh, this hand is actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good, you know, opening up with something to send Mally and Plague Spreader in your hand is like, sometimes a dream come true. I'm pretty much asking for this Oasis to get MST'd, but, you know, I don't, it doesn't matter if I said it anyway or not, you know. So, let's just go ahead. Oh, no! It's not fair! Alright. So, so, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I'm hosting. My username's Evil Mastery. You're like, Evil Mastery? I'm gonna use Evil Storms. Like, like, come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Like, no. Uh, like, no, 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 no. Sad. I opened up really well, too, but... No. <laughs> like, no. I probably could have handled Elfion. I probably could have let him kill my Armageddon Knight and summon back something, but... You know, that wasn't even including, you know, the prob the probable chance of him just setting a whole bunch of back rows, so. Lots of senders in this hand, so. I was like, ah, shit, Drew Malley, but then Dark Greffer, and he's like, I am here! Dark Greffer. I'm gonna send you Bell, because I have an Earth. So, this hand's not that bad either. Watch if we go and get another Evil Storm. Hell no. <laughs> like, uh, is it Evil Storm Day? <laughs> no one told me. <laughs> You know, I wonder if that person did that on purpose. I want to hold the animosity against the person, but come on, like, you know my name. I'm going to set a field spell. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Giving you that, uh, suspicious, suspicious. It's like, set a field spell. Mm. Okay. Well, hey, at least I had to worry about Gorns, right? <laughs> I, who the fuck sets a field spell? <laughs> Am I missing something? Well, I guess I should just go for King of Fire Limp. You guys know how good this guy is. Go ahead and get me a Mass Chameleon. There you are, Mass Chameleon. So, what I, whenever I'm good and ready, I will go ahead and uh, summon you Bell, but right now, like. A set field spell. Woo! What the fuck is it? Really? You know what? Is that game? No, it's not. You know what? I don't want you in my way. Reveal your deck by MST in your car. Alright, so Dark Ranger should die. Why? Well, and reveal your deck by MST in your card, and then of course it does. Like, usually, I thought it was just gonna be some generic piece of back row. I thought it was gonna be like a freaking, you know, mirror force or something. And it's like, oh, that doesn't tell me anything. It actually told me something. It actually told me what it was. So look at this. Look at this. I got a Mass Chameleon Party all up in my hand right now. Guess who I'm sending? I am sending that Phantom of Chaos, because I got a Mass Chameleon Party in my hand, and everybody's actually, this could have been Game of Flow to activate. No, never mind. I thought that was a wasted face down. Actually, it could have been game because I just could have did the Plague Mally play. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> no, I'm so busy admiring my mass chameleon party that I wasn't even paying attention to, you know, the possibility of ending this duel right here and now. So, oops. All I had to do was just go Mally, summon, plague, put on the top, summon, sink. Bam, game. But nope, I messed up. I told, I told, I completely and utterly forgot that I had Mally and Plague in the graveyard. Completely forgot. Yeah, I've been, I've sent everybody else. You know. 
Alright, hope you set some back row, because if you don't, I'm literally just going to make a, a Scrap Dragon next turn. And Scrap Dragon's gonna, literally going to... Nope. Alright, then I'm just going to summon Scrap Dragon to uh, shoot a machine gun at your uh, face-down monster. So, Mally Effect. I think I changed the deck, like I tweaked it, I think I try, I'm trying Burial, I'm trying Burial, but, you know, I'm not too sure about that. I didn't know what to put in there, I had one more space left, and I was just like, I don't know, Burial, you know. I was thinking I would be Gold Sark, but I want to try Burial, if it doesn't work, then sure, we can go with Gold Sark, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Ain't, I could have used my Lemon Reverse, but it doesn't matter, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Unless he has like a fight veil or something. Scrap effect. Go ahead and gun down Armageddon Knight. Poor Armageddon Knight. He didn't deserve that. <laughs> yep. So, some inconsistent Dark Magician deck. Because you literally. Hey, what the fuck is that field spell? Is it like the spellcaster field spell? And you didn't want to activate it because you didn't have a spellcaster? In case you drew and wanted to place the spells, but then you don't have a spellcaster, it means you couldn't play any spells. It's like, is that it? Is that what that felt spell does? It's been such a long time since I've seen that felt spell. You want me to go first? Sure. I, I don't mind going first. Soul Charge Call, Oasis, Foolish, Limit Reverse. Alright, well, if it wasn't for the Foolish, this hand would be. Uh, I got the revival, I got the power. <laughs> of course, we're sending you Bell. That's a given. Like, we opened up Limit Reverse, Oasis, and Call, like, and we're going to set all of them. If you want to go ahead and blind space me, more power to you. I will gladly train any one of them to go ahead and summon Din to get destroyed and summon Terror. So, you know, I don't care. Come on. MST. Let's go. Alert Darkness. All right. All right. I guess that's fair. I got Foolish. You got Alert Darkness. And I got Soul Charge. So. <laughs> all right. Draw two and banish and reveal your deck. And the deck we're facing is Black Wings. All right. So, banish that Vayu. Yes, you don't need Vayu. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Yep. Yep. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. What am I worried about right now? Icarus attack. Popping one of my back row. Popping my back row. That's what I'm worried about. Getting Bora. Alright. If you're gonna special summon Bora and hit me directly, then more power to you. I'm not gonna activate the reverse and block the attack. Because then you could just exceed. Nope, nope, nope. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Because you could just special summon Bora and then make a cast down and spin me back during the main phase too. So no. 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 Reverse. Draw. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah, that is possible. Anything is possible with popsicles. Interesting. I didn't think he was gonna do that. Generally, people set the MST. You, sir, are a douche. <laughs> Like, who the fuck keeps the MST in their hand during the end phase? You said it. You scared the shadow of your opponent, you said it. And yeah, this fool's like, nope. I got it right here. Like, oh. Oh. Mr. Superman. All right. All right. <laughs> so, you get alert and warning, and I get... Foolish and Soul Charge. Alright. And another Black Whirlwind. Alright. You know what? You got it. You got the tits. You got the tits. You had everything. Yeah, you win. GG. GG. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. You know, I'm stating... I'm always stating that Black Wings have consistency issues, but when you get lucky like him, like, whoo! Uh, this hand is fine. I generally, I would set, I would send you Bell, but he has no extra X, so 
Because he has an extra deck, I'm feeling a little bit more risque. So, are you using something sacky? You're using a 40 card deck, but no extra deck. So, is it something sacky? Say hi, good luck. So, good luck. Is it burn, exodia? What is it? What are we facing today? It is Light Sworn. Even though it's fucking Light Sworn, you should still run fucking. Why don't you have an extra deck? It doesn't matter if, wait, like, Raiden is a tuner who can synchro summon in two? <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Curry, oh my god, Bandit is, okay, put it back, you forgot, forgot what, Curry Bandit's during the end phase, is during the end phase, so you end your turn with the summoning of Curry Bandit. Ah, people are back! <laughs> Really? Is that just go summon a card around the dermal main face? Use the dermal main No, it clearly said the first fucking couple of words of Curry Bandit. You just read the last part. You just completely skipped the first part of Curry Bandit. Like, damn. I knew, should, I knew it was bad as soon as he didn't have an extra deck. Like, there's no excuse for that. I don't even care what deck you're using. I don't care if you're using motherfucking Exodia. You need a fucking extra deck. I don't even care. Um, uh, set this. Set this. This hand is not that good. If I had Dark Greffer, the hero of of heroes, uh, I'd be totally chill. But no, I didn't. So right, he's gonna set a monster and set a back row. Hmm. All right, Rhoda. Rhoda. Thank you. I wish I was a turn earlier, but it's cool. It's cool. Dark Greffer. It's here to save the day, unless my opponent, of course, has something to respond to him. Normal summon. Okay. Bean slumps. <laughs> Dark Greffer and Bean slumps. Alright. So he sent you, so you're good, so I guess the only other person to summon right now would be Bell. Oh, and uh, Plans of Chaos, so we'll get to him later. Oh, I got the Breeze Dragon. I don't know what the fuck the Breeze Dragon's planning on doing, but we got him. Alright, Dark Greffer, attack. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's that guy. And I don't even believe... Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't even, I would, to tell you the truth, I w it wouldn't even be one of my top cards to even pick to even run, so I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to be running fucking Rhapsody in here, like, oh, Rhapsody, mm, right here, like, no. <laughs> he's up there, he's up there, he's in the toolbox, but he's kind of on the lower end of the toolbox, he's not like, he's not like, bam, there's an x top bam, there's a Cowboy, bam, Love of the Chain, Love of the Chain, bam, you know. Uh, one on one, bam, Castell, like those, you know, like, like these guys, these guys right here. <laughs> I just named off them. Those are guys that are on the top of the food chain. Yeah, freaking, um, freaking Rhapsody. He's on the bottom. He's he's like he's like on the bottom with like Ragnar Zero and Crazy Box, where they're great when when it's super situational. Like, oh shit, going against Dark Worlds. Whoop, Rhapsody, give me that Graffa, give me that Graffa. <laughs> New. No. <laughs> Is that all you're gonna do? Really thought that maybe you were going to maybe you like summon and synchro summon with them or something? Maybe you uh, maybe you wanna try that out? Maybe? Maybe synchro you're gonna do a little bit of synchro summon? You're gonna do a tribute it for uh, a what tail dragon? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is a 25 B. Mm-hmm. 
Kill out my drifter for 800? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Well. Uh, what do I have? Let's call it 100. All right. It's, uh, it's time to eat some slime. Um, clearly. There's a lot of plays I could do. I'm probably going to go for the safe play and go for deals. I don't trust this back row, but, you know, what are we going to do, right? We don't have anything to combat it, so we have to just uh, bite the bullet. So, Mally, you can go ahead and go away. Just let me Mally. Is there anything I want to do with the Breeze Dragon? The Breeze Dragon's just been sitting there. He's like, hey, hey, is it safe? Can I, can I flip? Like, no, 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 stay down, stay down, man. Shh, shh, stay down. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun here. Hello? I'm almost having... Oh, okay, with a question mark. What you gonna do? You're like, oh, crap. I'm guessing it's fine. All right, I'm going to sink eight. Eight? Yep, here comes the bills. It's like it's like it's like it's like I'm feeding you food. It's like here comes the play, but no, it's like here comes the bills. Like, Vroom, here comes the bills. Open wide. Here comes the bills. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking insane. All right, um, I want to make a crimson blader. Yeah. I feel like let's just see Bell loves to make Crimson Blader. Also I love deck bending. That burial's looking nice and juicy right now, isn't it? I could use my call of the haunted or I could use plague. I'd rather use my call of the haunted. Yeah, I'm gonna activate Call of the Haunted. Is that alright? You got the MST for me, baby? If you do, I mean I don't really I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm right, guessing it's fine. Cause you're taking a. <laughs> I'm dead. Go ahead. Ah, uh, all right. All right. Then we will go ahead and sink it up. Sink eight again. So you go back to the grave. You go back to the grave, and I can always sink or summon again next turn. I want Crimson Blader. All right, Crimson Blader. Go ahead and get him. What does this do? Once per turn, you can banish one dragon monster. I didn't talk about much at all. Blah 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 blah. Oh, okay. So you go up by seven hundred attack. You're thirty-two. I lose four hundred. All right. Interesting. Yep. Once per turn, you can banish one dragon type monster from the grave and target to gain 700 attack until the end phase, even if this card is a field, and the face of a card on the field is said from the. Alright, I don't know. Alright. Until the end phase. Alright. Go ahead. Didn't see that coming at all, so. So you banish a dragon. From your graveyard. All right. Ah, oh, the mathematician. So damn strong. Yep. So let me guess. You're gonna use mathematician. Send that other dragon. That dragon's gonna banish to summon another labradite. Labradite's gonna go ahead and XC with this to make it M7 and spin back my bills. Right? Right. Because that's exactly what you're gonna do, and I know that's exactly what you're gonna do. Yep. Yep. And he's gonna banish some of that Labradite. X C and M seven. Spin back my wheels. I know exactly what you're gonna do. I'm fucking turns ahead of you right now. I'm plays ahead of you right now. Oh, okay. Well, you just summon another one of those. It doesn't matter. Well, it's in face-up defense position, but it doesn't matter. You're going to XC with it anyway. M7? Right? M7. M7. 
M7, 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 M motherfucking 7, go ahead, go, summon him, arise M7, arise, M7, M7 arise, arise M7, M7 arise, it's like summoning a chicken, like come on, unless you don't have M7, in which case you should probably <laughs> uh, you can't check your deck. All right, all right. No, you, you can't just you can't just randomly check your deck. I almost wrote cheat because that's pretty much it. There's nothing that's activating. You can, you can, that's like sitting in a fucking Yugo tournament. Oh, I'm gonna check my deck now. Mm -mm. Like, it's not how the game works. You didn't activate any searcher card. You know, if you wanted to check your deck, you should have checked it when you activated Mathematician, when you banished for car Carbon. Like, there's, there are times when you should have checked your deck. Like, literally, you just cheated. Ah, but that's DN for you. Only DN. Only DN. Or you can just randomly check your deck whenever the fuck you feel like. Why? Alright. I guess you have a plan. Alright. So you're gonna summon a tomb. A tomb is gonna go ahead and summon red and red is gonna go ahead and summon whatever. Okay. I guess you're gonna tribute it. Okay. And then Tefnoit's gonna summon something. Okay, now I see what you're doing. Now make an M7? Please? Please? M7 arise? Arise M7? M7 arise? Now? 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 Okay. No. Alright. Seriously trying to figure out when the fuck I'm gonna see a damn M7. M7 now! Right? Please summon him seven. Waiting forever for this fucker to sell, show up. M7. Summon it now. Motherfucker. Alright, so you're gonna detach to summon another one. Then M7? Like, oh my god. All right, I get it. I guess this guy's just trying to OTK me. Because I'm guessing you're going to turn these autumns into Gaia Chargers, I'm assuming. So that's the plan, make an M7, turn these into Gaia Chargers. Attack, 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 Oh my god. Uh, what's for sure you could tribute one harm monsters of this card into a giant pocket? Okay, I'm going to chain them. I'm gonna summon Terra. I was planning on using that Call the Haunted for a play next turn, but. You decide to go ahead and do that, so, alright. Uh huh. What? I'm gonna get it. I got it. I got this! Alright. 
Oh, now if you're making an M7, you you got a choice. You can either get rid of Terry, you can get rid of Beals. Oh, it's a tough one. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Bills, uh, Bills can't take out both of your things. Actually, I can't kill none of them because you're just going to activate your castle. So, uh, it'd be better to... Well, but if you spin the terror back to my hand, I get ultimate nightmare. Oh. And then you gotta do all the nightmare and bills. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now M7. This guy has had a millennium of a damn turn. Like, hello? M7. M motherfucking 7. Right? Oh, Gauntlet wouldn't be terrible. Kill my terror, kill my ultimate. That wouldn't be a terrible play either. I tell you right. Yeah. There we go. M7. Finally. Finally. My God, I've been waiting for this fucker. Yep. Sure. That was the wrong choice. Totally the wrong choice. The incorrect choice. You should have. Actually, you know why? It would have been a difficult choice. Waiting for that fucker. Alright, you done? I mean, you can you can attack my face down, monster. I don't give a shit about the Rage Dragon. You can go ahead and die. I'm just gonna wipe your field with terror anyway, so. Like I said, that's what I'm assuming he wanted to do. Would that have been enough for game if I didn't have the call of the haunted? He would spun that back. Uh, I'm assuming that guy charger would attack the monster, so it took 600, and then I would have nothing on the field. I took 15, then another 26, and then 27. Oh yeah, yeah, that would've been game. Yep, totally would've been game. We're just gonna end your turn, huh? All right. Phantom of Chaos, you naughty card. Hmm, is it worth it? Let's freeze. Put that up. Summon. XC exits on it. I'm one, two, three, four. Wipe his whole entire field, including the fucking castle. What does it say? This card is simple, but they're gonna make a target one dragon and damage around, especially someone that dragon. Huh. Is it worth it? I mean, is it worth it? That's the question. That's the question that is being answered right now. Of course, I can't synchro summon with the Debris Dragon. That'd be nice, because I would totally love to go for another field and have these two on the field at the same time. And go for a Royal Guardian, what the fuck would that do? And go for an Exiton, but that's kind of dangerous. I think the best choice would be to set the Phantom of Chaos, let it get killed. But if it's gonna get killed, I might as well get something out of it. Like, I might as well exceed into something. I can exceed into one, you know what? I'm exceeding into one on one, duh. Alright, let's summon. Normal summon. Let's see. Hello. And now I can survive some wipes. So that's cool. Alright, come on. No effect. I'm going to copy and paste this for you, and I will go ahead and detach. You're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead. Like the fucking Oprah of Destruction. The only reason why I did that is because the Breeze Dragon was going to die, and I wanted Phantom Chaos. Ooh, Leo! Yep. Is it Leo time? Leo. Leo. Yep. Leo time. <laughs> Unless there's another 10 that I can't think of. <laughs> it's not Leo time? Oh. Cute. Yep. 
cute. Is that the spirit? If it was a strong Miss Faith of Card and Field is sensitive, maybe you can target one of your banished dragon type monsters, special summon a target, yep. So who are you summoning? Labradite, alright. Interesting. Attack my one-on-one? Sure. It's not even worth saving. I just let it die. It's optional. I don't have to keep. I don't have to detach. I can. I'm saying, nah. I'm, I'm not going to save it. It could just die. It's not worth the damage. Why? Why Why save it so I, I, I can then get attacked again? There's, there's no reason, you know? There's no, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Effect again. Yep. <laughs> Who doesn't love evil? My deck is control, and your deck is aggressive, so you can't do shit to me. It's the, it's a pretty good song, huh? Ooh, love that. I can make another Bills, which is what I'm totally planning on doing. So, get that bitch out of my face. You can keep setting monsters, or you cannot. Again? Sure, I don't care. There is not a fucking synchro summon of fucking. Oh, you can sync for nine though, and put my shit back in my hand. Interesting. Yep. Go for Miss Worm. I'd still get Ultimate Nightmare, so I don't even give a shit about that. Sync six. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Who the fuck is that? Oh, sure. Sure. That was interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You did an interesting play? I'm gonna do an interesting play. You're about to see this. Oh, is this card dirty? Okay, okay. I'll take the 2400. I can read that. Still gonna MST my terror. Effect. When it's removed from the field, that in and sent to the graveyard. Yep. <laughs> let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. Yep, let me show you. <laughs> this face of card leaves the field. It resolves in grave. I get ultimate nightmare. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't even know what you're fucking talking about. I'm gonna go for Beals. Oh, I can just go for fucking. Oh, never mind. I should activate it. Waste his turn face. Bitch! Uh, summon you. Normal summon you. And we'll go ahead and sinkity dink dink. Oh my god. Alright, nigga, shut the fuck up when you're talking to me. Sink eight. Beals again. You. Eat this motherfucker right here. Sneaky bitch. Yep. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. That is Mr. <laughs> Bitch to you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you're destroyed. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, you're so salty. Destroy Rackman. I don't even know why the fucking Rackman is still there. You don't have any equips. You know the fact. Munch, munch, munch. You bell eats big spiders like ow, ow. broke beats too. <laughs> oh. How many drag guards do you got left? You still got one more drag guard. If you top deck a fucking drag guard, oh my god, I I'd be so fucking salty because you can go for a fucking miss turn. He's like, Drag Guard, summon that back level, eat or eat off the sink for nine, miss one, bounce all that shit back. Like, <gasps> <laughs> broke charge. That's fine. <laughs> wow. Wow! <laughs> uh, of course, a Ragnid, because he could just take me. Uh huh. Mm. On who? Who are you eating off of? Gonna go for another one? Yep. There you go. So all charges are resolved. Ah. What does it say? This card will be destroyed by battle. You can destroy the equip card instead. Oh, by battle. Okay. Uh, and do I have you? Oh, yes, I do. I'm gonna summon Mass Chameleon. May I get my effects, sir? Huh? I'm gonna make me an extra time. Gonna make me an extra time. My opponent's gonna suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Guessing it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go with something bottomless. Alright, alright, alright. I still get my effect. Alright. Then instead, I'm gonna summon you, Bell. Because I go summon. I was still normal summon. <laughs> Mass Chameleon was still normal summoned. Hello? So I go summon. You go bottomless. I'm like, effect. Summon. That's cute. I'll set the limit reverse. Go ahead. Its effects are negated. <laughs> suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my dick, my dick. Suck it in my dick and trying to roll shark shit out of me. Soul charge and took my bills and my ultimate. I mean, the struggles are real. You got lucky with that bottomless, but I'm still okay. Okay, you didn't have that bottomless. I was gonna exit on the shit out of you, so. Yeah, looking in that fucking. Oh, I mean, he might have a game if he goes for an M7. They're both six, right? Yep, go for an M7, spin back my ultimate nightmare. Yeah, you probably have it. I'm never gonna do shit if I can't summon you, Bell, so. 
So if you got another M7, then more power to you. And Soul Charge wins duels. I said that Soul Charge is still stupid broke, so. <laughs> I said, without that Soul Charge, he'd just be in a deep shit of trouble. And the bottom list, too. Like, them, limited, them limited cards are what save your ass. They are what save your cheeks. They are what keep your butt cheeks attached to your lower back spine. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't attack me and you just try to take the duel slow, I'm going to turn to attack mode and come after your ass. I'm going to take the damage on the chin and come after your ass. So, what you want to do? Sure. As like I said, I'm coming after your ass. That ass is mine. See, because I like yous and I want yous. So we could do this the easy way, or we could do this the motherfucking hard way. The choice is yours. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to attack. I'll attack into your arachnid. I will take the 24. I'll go to the graveyard, and I will get my effect to summon Terra. I love Terra. Alright. I'm just gonna end my turn. End phase. Effect. Wipe it all. All of it. Get out of here. This is my house. You're not welcome here anymore. Go. So, uh, you better set a monster, because if you don't... I'm not even cowboy territory, that's the funny thing. So, is that a monster? Sure. Uh, I can end this door right now. Yeah, yeah, I can end this door right now. Yep, 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 I can end this door right now. I can end this door right now, and I am going to just end this door right now. This is a good song, huh? I was just trying to put it on top of the deck, summon plague, sink and scrap, scrap, destroy, destroy, pow. So, oh my god, this guy was salty as a motherfucker! <laughs> you know, even with his soul charge. Nope. The bottom list on my uh, mass chameleon was cute, but I'm still somebody who's like, no, like, what do you mean? Like, this nigga was trying to roll shock the shit at me, like, nigga, I know how to play my deck. I got it. I got it. I got it! Alright, so that was fun. <laughs> this is a long video. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Lie. So, of course, I will see you guys tomorrow with the Boxies, which, uh, as great as it's looking, will probably be staying. So, like I said, I'm just, that deck, it's so vulnerable, and it takes so long to set up, so. And there ain't much I can do about it either. It's running the maximum capacity of everything, you know? And there's not much I can do with that, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the Boxies. Alright, thanks for watching.